ago, I made a promise to you that we are going to transform Edo State. That Edo is the heartbeat of Nigeria and the transformation of Edo will lead to the transformation of Nigeria. And our program is titled Make Edo Great Again. Make Edo Great Again. Mega! In almost four years, the Edo State Civil Service has undergone an unprecedented revamp which has impacted greatly on the lives and productivity of the state's public workers. In his first term in office, Governor Godwin Obaseki has fully and effectively instituted reforms that have engendered responsible and updated governance methods thereby tapping into the immense potential of the workforce for optimal performance. By prioritizing the welfare of Edo workers, developing mechanisms for continuous human capacity development, digitalizing government processes, and creating a suitable working environment, the Obasaki-led government has retooled the Edo public workforce to drive responsible governance and ensure it meets the minimum expectation required to achieve the best standards. The indicators of improved governance in Edo State are legion, but suffice it to reference a few. Being one of the first states to implement the payment of 30,000 Naira minimum wage to her workers, Governor Basaki has, by sheer financial acumen and prudent management, guaranteed that all Edo workers receive their salaries not later than the 26th of every month. While most states still grapple with the payment of arrears of the old minimum wage of 18,000 Naira, in Edo State, the regular and prompt payment of wages has become the norm. We, as I said, have been prudent in the way we manage our financial resources. That has created challenges for us, as you are aware, but we are not daunted. On the 26th of this month, latest. You will get your alert reflecting the new minimum. Victory! In the area of pension and gratuities, the Obasaki-led government has achieved tremendous strides. The pitiable and ugly scenarios of pensioners queuing up for endless hours at the Palm House Secretariat to receive their dues with many dying in the process has become a thing of the past. Up to now, three months in lieu of notice, not paid. Gratuity, not paid. Arias, not paid. He's owing us a lot and he's dogging. Some of the pensioners are dying, or some are dead. Then some are sick in the hospital, and no money to pay their, their, their bill. Some, their children are no longer in the school because no money to pay their school fees. In other states that are not, that don't, don't have the opportunity of having their governor or comrades are enjoying their labor after retirement. But in our own case, it's direct opposite. The current systematic, efficient and sustained approach to payment of pension and gratuities has significantly reduced hardships of senior citizens who had toiled hard to build the state and this nation in their service days. We can vividly recall that just a few years ago, during May Day celebrations in the state, Pensioners wore black attires to rallies, lamenting the neglect by the government of the day. Under the current administration, they now come out in clean white attires, signifying the dawn of a new and better era under the administration of Governor Godwin Obaseki. Yeah, 
Club Association of Nigeria University. Before he came, it was difficult to be placed on pension payroll when you retire from the service. At times it takes up to about two years. At least at times up to a year, six months or a year. But since he came, there's that decision that no areas should be paid again. And in doing that, if you are retiring, your last uh, uh, month of work is this month. Next month, you are going to get your pension. That is what it is now. It has never been like that before. As it stands today, within two months of retirement, a worker in Edo State starts receiving his or her monthly pension payment, while gratuity payment is also done in a seamless process. You know that this administration, since it came on board, has consistently paid to workers salaries regularly and promptly. Um, in spite of the problems uh, the economy has had at the sub-national and national level, all over the world, uh, government has continued to pay workers on or before 26th of every month. And uh, in fact, in some cases, even earlier than that, uh, payment of pensions has taken the same route. Uh, today, workers uh, are able to say that even though we're not the best or biggest earners in the world, but we can say in a do state that on the 26th of the month we receive our salary. So we're able to plan what we have. And of course, that also means that we are credit worthy. Uh, and then for pensions, it's been even a lot more far reaching. The pension payment process has been reformed completely. And that has seen to it that when you retire today as a civil servant, you get your name transits seamlessly from the salary payroll to the pension payroll such that the very next month you begin to get your pension regularly just like uh, civil servants get their salaries regularly. The Ado State Government has further initiated a group life insurance policy for its civil servants and has paid a total sum of 81 million naira to families of 34 deceased civil servants, just as it has cleared all outstanding pension arrears of 3,000 retirees and commenced payment of gratuities and harmonization. In line with his governance methods, His Excellency has enmeshed a merit-based system of promotion in the state's public service. Keeping the workforce fully energized and motivated, promotions are no longer given by virtue of cronyism and nepotism, but by standard administrative metrics which guarantee productivity and transparency in the service. Okay, I'm glad to inform you that the governor of Edo State has approved that all outstanding promotions, not just in the civil service, but in the entire public service, be you know, effected. That's the approval that Mr. Governor has given. And of course, you know the effect that that will have on the workforce, you know, because for many years, workers were owed arrears and arrears of promotion. And that limited their capacity to perform optimally. And so with what has been done by Mr. Governor, you will know that uh, the capacity, the willingness, the desire on the part of the civil servants to perform optimally would, you know, become something that the civil servants will have. Make Edo great again. Make Edo great again. Mega! The blocks C and D buildings are the state secretariat complex on Saple Road, abandoned for over 45 years, have now been completely reconstructed to give befitting space to workers. This has boosted their efficiency in the service. Modern equipment have also been deployed to these offices to keep pace with the 21st century development.
renovation of two blocks of the State High Court complex has been completed, while the construction of residential quarters for the State High Court judges is already completed to give meaning to Governor Basaki's earlier promise to provide decent and comfortable housing for the judiciary. The industrial court complex in Benin City, the first of such in the South-South geopolitical region, has been completed and furnished. It has since commenced operation to save lawyers and litigants in the state the inconvenience of traveling out of the state for legal cases relating to industrial disputes. An MOU has been signed with the United Nations Institute for Training and Research, UNITAR, to facilitate internationally rated training program for Edo workers. The John Odigio Yegun Institute for Civil Service Training has been completed in Benin City to offer training facilities to public officers on short and long-term basis, all aimed at better service delivery by the state's public service. In its human capital development drive for the state public service, the Obasaki administration has initiated a lot of training and retraining programs over the last three years, all aimed at improving workers' efficiency, competence, prompt and effective service delivery. A 48-hour turnaround time for inquiries and memos in the civil service is already operational for the public's good. Perceptive citizens believe that all these have greatly enhanced government labor relationship in the state like never before, thus completely eliminating any incidents of labor strikes or disruptions ever since the Obasaki administration took office on November 12, 2016. You don't bring issues that have to deal with the workout welfare. With that, Mr. Governor have not have any interest. He has every interest in the workers of a do state. There is an industrial harmony between the gov state government and the labor union. The idea of uh, going on strike all the time, which used to inundate uh, the previous administrations, where some of the labor leaders were beaten up by some government uh, officials and talks, is no longer there. That what labor does now, if there's anything at all, they go on dialogue. And before you know it, it is quietly done without any person knowing. So it is fantastic. And we love that this industri industrial harmony, we want it to continue. There is no doubt that the Edo people can see accountability, transparency, responsibility, prudence, and purposefulness in governance. Taxpayers' money is well put to work in critical infrastructure across the state in a fair and equitable manner to the benefit of all citizens. It is remarkable that under Godwin Obaseki, leakages, waste and siphoning channels in government have been effectively blocked, while people-oriented programs have been embarked upon via modern best practices in governance. This is a testimony that Governor Godwin Obaseki has delivered in his first term in office and has, in fact, exceeded the normal expectations of the electorate that massively voted him into power. Edo people made a right choice four years ago by giving their mandate and trust to Governor Godwin Obaseki. Since his assumption of office, not only did he hit the ground running, but has continued to unleash various initiatives with the potential to launch Edo State into a greater state, a 21st century post-COVID-19 economy. His re-election for a second term will seal the deal between Governor Obaseki and the Edo people and guarantee continuity and progress in the civil service as well as other key areas of government. So, Vote wisely in the forthcoming September 19, 2020 Edo gubernatorial election. Vote Godwin Obaseki. Vote PDP. Make Edo great again. Make 
Edo Great Again Mega